Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Sammy here and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to be going over how to make your prisoners not escape in Roblox My Prison. Now before we get into the video guys, make sure you guys smash like so you never miss any of a brand new video on the channel. I should have a starter guide on this game, so if you guys have checked that out, the link is in the top right or in the description. And uh, yeah, I really really hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, this is how to stop your prisoners escaping and what every single prompt they say means and how to fix it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get straight into the video guys. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video. And if you get to 10.5k, then part 5 of the starter layout will be out. But yeah, let's go ahead and start with the first one, which is the more guards prompt. So if you have around 3 prisoners or more, and yeah, you will see that people will say, I will escape easy with this guards count. So that means you obviously need to hire a guard. So you go to people icon workers and hire yourself a guard. That was the first fix guys and by the way guards do not actually need a desk at the moment so you can delete this desk here for a little bit of money and i'm just going to delete this little area as well now the next prompt i'm going to show you guys is about the bins so if prisoners have rubbish from your soda machines or your canteen food and they can't access a bin they will actually start complaining about it it will take up until breakfast to actually start seeing that effect but you will see them complaining about it i have some of it in my video and you guys will be able to see it but currently i think we won't be able to get it but let's go ahead and add a few more prisoners guys so let me just add a few bunk beds so obviously we are back with the guards prompt so people are asking for more guard oh someone made a little hole which we want to cover up <laughs> right the next one we have is food rations are too small so what that means is you guys need another chef or you need another stove. So I currently have no chefs, which means I need to hire one since the prisoners were complaining about food rations being too small. And if I don't fix that quick enough, they will start rioting. So let me really quickly just hire him. And now your problem should be sorted. So a good little statistic to know is that one chef actually serves 15 prisoners and one buffet serves 12 prisoners. So I can have up to 12 prisoners with this buffet. And obviously the eating table does four people so one two three four seats and currently we can store eight prisoners now something i'd recommend instead of the bleachers is definitely just got to be the sofas guys the sofas are way cheaper and they do pretty much the same amount of seating now if i actually remove all of my sofas you guys will see that people do start to complain about the sofas so let me quickly go ahead and check that they'll check it when they need it during their free period and if you see them saying add more bleachers or add more sofa, that's what that means. So I'm going to really quickly wait for that prompt to show up. Oh, nightmare. Add more phone. Okay, so that is the next one they are complaining about. So if it says add more phone, you need to obviously add a phone. Now, one phone goes between two prisoners. So divide your prison account by two and you will have enough phones. And so I don't know when, it, when they're going to start complaining about these sofas. It's been quite a while, guys. But you might have seen them complaining in your prisons. Oh, we also don't have enough showers, which they will start complaining about. So we'll wait for that to ensue. So I removed one of my eating tables and that will also cause something to go on because I can only seat four prisoners. As I said earlier, one table seats four. So nightmare, eat tables and buffets are not optional. So what that means, either you don't have enough buffets... And as I said earlier, one buffet goes for 12 prisoners. But right now, I do not have enough eat tables. So what you need to do in the case of that is actually place down some more eat tables. And make sure you divide your prison account by four. And that is how many eat tables you'll need. So currently, six divided by four is, well, obviously more than one. And that means I will need two tables. And now I can suit up to eight prisoners with this. But if I get any more, then they will complain about eat and buffet tables are not optional. Now, if I have more than 12 prisoners, such as 13, 14, 15 or 16, etc., then I will need another buffet. Right, so now we can test our bin theory because it is uh, breakfast time. So let's go ahead and check what they say about the bins once they are finished with their food. Oh, you can see them complaining about it right here. I need to throw my plate on the floor, no trash can. So yeah, you need to place down the trash cans. I'm not sure on the statistics on that. I think you just need like at least one. Because they throw it on the floor regardless. Now currently we only have uh, four workout equipment. Which will obviously ensue another complaint. So I just need a little bit of money. So I can actually afford the rest of my exercise equipment. And so far they aren't complaining about the sofa. Which you know I'm quite concerned about. Because they should be by now. Okay, let's see what they say if I delete them instead. 
I will say something soon guys, I promise I'm not crazy. But yeah, a huge problem with this game, if you get something wrong for like a couple more seconds, like if you don't have uh, enough beds for your prisoners for like 10 seconds, then a massive riot will ensue. If you don't have enough eating tables for like 10 seconds, then another massive riot will ensue, like you know what I mean? That type of stuff will get you huge riot very, very quickly if you do not get it sorted. But I'm just waiting for the workout time, which should be soon, and you guys will see that they will start complaining about it and if they complain obviously they'll start escaping and digging holes and stuff now something i don't like about the guards is they don't actually mark every single hole that they walk next to sometimes it's a little bit sketchy with their systems but sometimes it works but it doesn't really help me i'm not gonna lie you have to hire a repairman for it to be efficient otherwise prisoners just tag team a hole and just get out instantly now let's go ahead and just delete our workout equipment because there's two people on it let's see what they say okay bro this is this is not good i don't know why they're not complaining but let's go ahead and go over the next complaint whilst we wait for that to actually happen oh look you can see some can't do sports and we've got a massive riot now so yeah people can't do sports there is not enough sports equipment my game just froze and let's just make sure they don't start digging holes guys this prison needs more beds yep that's understandable so yeah i have seven prisoners and only six beds let's wait for this riot to actually end and then we can place down our sports equipment now we want to make sure you're patching up all these holes quickly oh look you can you can see them complaining about soda machines add more bleachers or sofas all right cool let's go ahead and do all of that now so we literally just got pretty much all of the complaints now so let's go ahead and add all of our sports equipment guys and let's go ahead and add in these sofas let's go ahead and add in another soda machine you see guys that is why they will escape you'll see all of their complaints when you get a riot now i still need to do exercise equipment i forgot some of it we've got eight there and they're digging a hole that is not very good now there is not enough beds so let's go ahead and just slap down another bed there is a uh, fat hole so we should probably cover it up now i'm surprised none of our prisoners escaped but yeah guys those are all of the complaints and how to stop them Let's go over what we said in the video. So eat table, eating buffet tables are not optional, means you need to add a buffet or an eating table. And they are quite cheap guys, so don't worry about them. A phone goes one between every two prisoners. A sofa goes every one between two prisoners. Workout equipment obviously goes for all of them. So you need one for every single person. And obviously the showers, which I didn't go over, you'll need to add more depending on obviously how many prisoners you have and your chef can suit 15 people and your buffet can suit 12 your beds obviously one each and your toilets need to be half your prison account but yeah that was it for this video guys if you enjoyed please remember to smash like down below so you can hit 50 likes on this video and yeah seriously thank you all so much for watching remember give it to 10.5k if you want part 5 of my beginner series and um yeah let me know any other content you guys would like to see on this game because i'd love to hear what you guys want to watch and uh yeah peace out guys thank you all so much for watching goodbye